you, Father. Blessed be to your name. Hallelujah to your name. We give you praise. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus to this second week of this prayer reign. We thank God for the first week. And I know by the mercies of God, today shall be much more glorious. You are welcome. You are welcome everywhere you are connecting from. You are welcome tonight. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. This is your night. This is your night in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Let's exalt his holy name. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We give you all the praise. We celebrate you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Lord, we thank you. We worship you for this second week of this prayer reign. Thank you for what you did in the first week. Thank you for the blessing, for the mercy, for the miracle, for the testimonies that we received even in the first week. To you be all the glory. Come on everywhere, give him praise. Bible says in Psalm 100 and verse 4 that we should enter its gate with thanksgiving and its court with praise. Give him thanks. Exalt the name of the Lord. Come and worship him for what he's going to do tonight again. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Glory and honor to your holy name. Lebra rushke parande lebra doseti karadi ankle dushke ta. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Glory to your holy name. Lord, we exalt you. Thank you. We are here. We are here for you. And we know that you are here. You are here for us. Blessed be your name, Jehovah. Glory and honor we give unto you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Right now, I want you to go ahead and pray in your expectation. Pray in your expectation. Let him know why you are here. If you don't have expectation, there is nothing for him to turn to manifestation. Go ahead right now. Express your expectation before the throne of grace. My Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight I pray that you visit everyone. I pray that you will touch the life of everyone connected to this prayer line tonight connected to this prayer altar tonight let there be divine visitation let there be divine transformation lord let us indeed experience a goshen experience that will bring about divine turnaround in the life of everyone in the name of jesus we are here tonight as a partaker not an onlooker visit us tonight let there be divine healing let there be deliverance let there be divine visitation. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the privilege to be in your presence again. Father, we exalt you wherever we are watching from. We know that you are there with us. Father, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are the one that keeps your covenant. You never fail. You never change. You never disappoint. 
Father, you are worthy of all the praise. You deserve it all. Father, you are, we are thankful for all that you have done for us and our family. Thank you, Jesus. You are the Alpha and Omega. Confident keeping God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Confident keeper. Confident keeping. You are the God that keeps confident. You are faithful in all your ways and everything you do to us, I shall to be. Omega, Omega, there is no one like Hey, Covenant Keeper, keep you keep oh, Covenant, you keep your vows. Ancient of no days, you never like fail, you never disappoint in every way you are Alpha Covenant keeping. Omega, Omega, there is no one like Hey, Covenant keeping God. Like you. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. Hey, Omega. There is no one. Oh, Convent and Keeper. Convent and Keeping God. Oh, keeping God. There is no one like you. Jesus, are you ready to praise the Lord this evening? Oh Lord, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord is good. Oh, there is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord. Oh, it's been so good. There is nothing. There is nothing he cannot. Hallelujah. Come and see the Lord is good. Oh, have you seen the Lord? Oh, it's really, really good. Hey, there is nothing. There is nothing he cannot do. I have seen the Lord is good. Oh, he gave us victory. Hey, he gave us peace of mind. Hey, there is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord is good. Come and see the Lord. Oh. It's really, really good. Hey, yeah, there is nothing, there is nothing he cannot do. Come and see the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. our God is awesome. Our God is. Hey, 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 hey. I say my God is awesome. My God is good, oh, God is good, oh, hey, my God is good, oh, God is good, hey, Lord, he gives us good health, my God is good, oh, hey, he gives us sound mind, my God is good, hey, everything I double, double, everything I double, double, hey, everything I double, double, our blessings is overflowing, everything I double, double, God is good, oh. My God is good, oh. Hey, I say our God is good, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. He gives us good health. My God is good, oh. Hey, He gives us long life. My God is good, oh. He protects us daily. Hey, everything I 
Everything is overflowing. Oh, everything is mega mega. Our testimony is mega mega. Hey, I say my God is good. My God is good. Oh, hey, my God is good. Oh, my God is good. Oh, hey, my God is good. Oh, my God is good. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. He has given victory. He has given us the victory. Praise the Lord. Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the works of Satan. Lord, He has given us a victory. That's why we sing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody, praise the Lord. Lift our Jesus higher. Lift him higher. Higher, higher, higher. Lift him higher. Lift Jesus higher. Lift him higher. Higher, higher, higher. Lift him higher. Lift our Jesus higher. Lift him higher. Father, we exalt you. Our hallelujah belongs to you. We lift you higher and higher. Every day, constantly, we are never tired of lifting you up. And we are never tired of praising you. Because our hallelujah belongs to you this evening. Yes, you deserve it. Take it all. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you my hallelujah my hallelujah belongs to you hallelujah hallelujah belongs to you Belongs to you. You deserve. Oh Lord, you deserve it. You deserve it. Day and night, you, you deserve it. You deserve all that we can give. You give us more. Instead of this, we cannot praise you and thank you enough. You deserve it.
belongs to you. Hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve it, O oh Lord. Hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah, you deserve it all, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, my hallelujah belongs to you. Yes, Daddy, you are worthy of all the praise. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name. Come on, give him praise. Worship the name of Jesus tonight. Bless the name of the Lord tonight. Yes, my hallelujah belongs to you. All glory, all honor belongs to you. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome you all again tonight. In this second week, I know tonight God will visit you wherever you connecting from in the name of Jesus. If you are just joining us, go ahead as well. Invite somebody because God will be using you to bless a life as you do that. And as you do, your own blessing shall be multiplied in the name of Jesus Christ. This second night, by the grace of God, we are here, like we said last week, most of our midweek on the Wednesday, we are going to be praying more. We are going to be praying more. So I want you to be ready to pray tonight, even as you connect your heart. And I know God of heaven, we answer our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. The Goshen experience is our running team for this prayer reign. The Goshen experience. And as we mentioned, that the word, according to the book of Malachi chapter 1 to verse 4, the word is in an oven state right now. The word, as we can see all around us, is full of unrest, is full of trouble, is full of ailment, is full of all manner of evil. But the word of the Lord had made it clear to us that unto us that fear his name shall the son of righteousness arise with healings on his wings and is not just to deliver us. He says then we will grow forward and we would enjoy the blessing of heaven. And that's why we are here even to establish that which the mouth of the Lord have said. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I declare concerning your life, concerning your family, and everything that concerns you, when the head, the word, and the people of the world is saying there is a casting down, you and I will be saying there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. When the people of the world are saying there is a lifting up, and there is a lift, there is a casting down, you will be declaring there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So tonight, by the grace of God, we are going to be moving to the preservation and the protection that they enjoyed in Goshen. Hallelujah. The preservation and the protection that they enjoyed in Goshen, that is the direction we will be moving tonight. It's important for you and I to know or to understand because somebody might ask, why Goshen? Hallelujah. The children of Israel in the land of Egypt in those days are the replica of what every child of God is today. We are indeed a spiritual children of Israel. Bible says as Isaac was, so are we the children of promise. As Isaac was, so are we. According to Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, talking about the blessing of Abraham 
coming to us that believe. So in other words, every blessing that they enjoyed in Goshen while they were in Egypt, God is ready to replicate, to duplicate the same even to all of his children in this day and in this time. Hallelujah. Last week, uh, according to Genesis 45, verse 10 and 11, we said they enjoyed about four, 14 different peas. 14 different peas. They enjoyed the preservation. They enjoyed the plenty. They enjoyed possession. They enjoyed his provision. They enjoy his presence. They enjoy his power. They enjoy properties. They enjoy peace. Their profession blossomed. They enjoy privilege and prosperity. And they add posterity. Hallelujah. If you remember the children of Israel that went down to the land of Goshen, they were just 70. By the time they were leaving, the account added that they had moved to almost 3 million. Hallelujah. I am declaring as the Lord delivered, welcome to your season that you will multiply greatly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So tonight, we are going to be looking at his preservation and his protection. We are just going to establish what that connotes and how does that relate to us before we go and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your destiny shall be preserved. Your family shall be preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's quickly look at scripture tonight. Exodus chapter 9 and verse 4. Exodus chapter 9 and verse 4. And I want to read this translation, the CEV translation. It says, but the Lord will protect the animals that belong to the people of Israel. And none of the earth will die. And the Lord will protect the animals that belong to the children of Israel, and none of theirs shall die. If God is so much careful to protect the animals of the children of Israel, how much more the children of Israel themselves? I love the King James, another version says, and the Lord will make a wonderful difference between the possessions of the children of Israel and the possessions of the Egyptian, that nothing at all shall die of those things that belongs to the children of Israel, that nothing at all shall die of those things that belongs to the children of Israel. That is why I am rest assured, no matter what they would suffer, nothing is permitted to die in your house. In the name of Jesus, nothing is permitted to die in that that concerns you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's read the same, uh, the same Exodus chapter, chapter 9, verse 25 and 26. Exodus chapter 9, verse 25 and and 26. Look at what Bible says. Exodus 9, 25 and 26. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt and all that was in the field, both what man and beast. And the hail smote every alps of the field and break every tree of the field. The hail there represents the evil that went through the land of Egypt. It represents the all manner of calamity that they suffered. But look at verse 26, Exodus 9 and verse 26. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. No calamity is permitted in your habitation. In the name of Jesus, I say all through the year 2020, one, I prophesy no evil is permitted in your habitation. No sickness, no 
no, 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 any negative report is permitted in your habitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you receive that, let your amen be resounding. Hallelujah. When this plague, about ten of them, eat the land of Egypt, the children of Israel were preserved and protected. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that dwell in Goshen, they enjoy his protection. They enjoy his preservation. Everything that concerns them was protected, was guided, was preserved. And that will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that is not covered in Goshen is at risk. Anyone, anyone that is not covered in Goshen is at risk. That is why God uh, had ordained this time and this season for every one of us to take cover under his mighty hand. And I know as the Lord delivered, nothing is permitted to touch you and yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's quickly look at scripture. We are just trying to establish what God had ordained to do in this season. What does this mean? Let's quickly look at scripture. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms chapter 91. We are going to read a few. Psalms chapter 91. I will read from verse 1. Psalms chapter 91 verse 1. We'll read all the way down to maybe verse 4 and 5. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I and you will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and what and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely, watch now, He will deliver me from the snare of the fowlers and from the noiseless pestilence, he shall cover me, he shall bring me under his feather, and under his wing shall I trust, and his trust shall be my shield and my buckler. Hallelujah. His trust shall be my shield and my buckler. Look at verse 5. He says, you and I will not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for what? For the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in dark, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. You will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. I say you will not be wasted. Your family will not be wasted. Every waster of destiny, going at noonday, going at night time, looking for who to waste, you and your family is exempted in the name of Jesus Christ. You and your household, you are exempted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So from that scripture, we establish the fact that no matter the name of the sickness, no matter the name of the disease, no matter the version of the virus, you and I, we are separated even in this season by the mighty hand of God. We look all around us today, we saw all manner of disease, all manner of things going on in the world. But it's important for you to know that it doesn't matter the new name of the disease. It doesn't matter the new name of the sickness. It doesn't matter the new wave of the coronavirus. Whatever new fashion they have, you and your family, me and my household, we are preserved in the name of Jesus. We are protected in the name of Jesus. We are exalted exempted in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And how does that become our portion? Because when we have understanding, then we will be able to walk in the revelation of what he has showed us. Revelation chapter 12, we will read verse 12 alone for now. 
Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Look at what Bible says. Hallelujah. Revelation, Revelation 12 and verse 12. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Revelation chapter 12 and, and verse 12. It says rejoice. I love that. Hallelujah. Look at what it says. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwelleth in them. But woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. But he says, Rejoice, ye heavens, and the inhabitants therein. In other words, there is an economy of the world. They are there, there is the environment of the world. And also, there is the economy of heaven and the environments of heaven. In other words, no matter what happened in this part of this earth, no matter what happened in anywhere that you find yourself, you have to understand that you are in this world, but not of the world. And scripture made us to understand where you and I are seated. Hallelujah. Let's quickly look at that in the book of Ephesians. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 and 21. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 and 21. We are going to pray shortly. But we want to establish the fact of why we will be exempted. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1, I will read verse 20 and 21. Then I will jump to chapter 2 and verse 6. Look at what Bible says. Which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. Hallelujah. When what he wrote, what he did through Christ, and when he raised him up, he raised him up to sit where in his right hand in the heavenly places. Verse 21. Where is that heavenly places? He says it is far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named including any sickness they are all including that name including any virus it's all included in that name not only in this world come on now but also in that which is to come now verse 22 he had put all things under his feet and make him the head over everything including the church hallelujah so when god wrote that in christ he did not just raise them up but he raised him up above all, above all, above all, above all. And not just in the world, but even in the world to come. In other words, there are things that are discovered yet that is plaguing the people. But even the things that is yet to be discovered, he is above all of them. So none of them can touch him. None of them can affect him. That is where you belong. That is where he has brought you up to I want you to not just understand this but you should start walking in the consciousness of what Christ have wrought for you and I hallelujah let's quickly jump to chapter 2 Ephesians chapter 2 we will read verse 6 to see how he connected you and I even to that exalted position where what the people of the world suffer we cannot suffer the same Ephesians chapter 2 let's read verse 5 and 6 hallelujah Ephesians 2 verse 5 and 6 even when we were dead in sins he had quickened us together with Christ. When we are, we are dead to sin, he quickened us together with Christ. By grace, we are saved. In other words, it's not what the works of our hand brings. It's the grace of God that brought it to us. Now look at verse 6. He said he had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places 
in Christ Jesus. So where are you seated? That is the question. I want you to drop that in the chat room. Where are you seated? Not just drop in the chat room. I want you to have the conviction that you and your household that have believed the validity of his word and have given your life to Christ, you are not seated on the floor. Rather, you are seated in heavenly places that is high above all principalities and power. Hallelujah. That is where you are seated. So when we go back to that Revelation chapter 12 verse 12 that says rejoice ye that dwells in heaven that means you and I are meant to rejoice when the world is lamented. There is nothing you can do about that. It is the God of heaven that have set it up that way. When the world is lamenting, you are not permitted to lament. Rather you are permitted to what? Rejoice. I declare and I prophesy every joy stealer I command them be destroyed in the name of Jesus hallelujah so that is where you and I that is where we belong hallelujah that is where we belong so we have to constantly and consciously be aware where we are seated so the devil does not unseat us hallelujah what does that mean? Because sometimes uh, the devil brings some things our way. Sometimes uh, the enemy tries to ask us, are you sure you are seated in heaven? Just as the same question uh, he asked Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis. Just as the same question he asked Jesus in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Are you sure you are the son of God? Uh, he's going to come and ask you even during this prayer, even after this prayer, are you sure you are seated in heaven you have to walk in the consciousness of what Christ has done he might not ask you word for word but when he tries to bring any of those affliction when he tries to bring any of those ailments any of those sickness on you he is trying to question what the word has said and you need to rise up and tell that sickness and disease whatever name it is called I am seated in heavenly places where you are not permitted to afflict me so therefore devil get your hand off my habitation and he will tell you i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't know you understand what belongs to you and in no time he gets his hand off you so that is the reality of where i want you to walk and as we go to pray even tonight i want you to understand what are the things that he had exempted us from number one he had preserved every children of israel from affecting from being affected with everything that they they suffered in egypt hallelujah Glory to Jesus. None of the children of Israel died. If you go back and read Exodus chapter 8, verse 22 to 24, Bible says none of the things of the children of Israel died in Goshen. In other words, uh, all through the year 2021 and beyond, uh, nobody in your family is permitted to die. In the name of Jesus, Bible says a child shall die at 100. Anyone that they said maybe he slept, he changed position, will be a 100 years old in the name of Jesus so what has he preserved us from our life is preserved our life is in him hallelujah number two we saw that everything that pertains to them the works of their hand their businesses were protected hallelujah Exodus chapter 9 verse 24 to 6 everything that pertains to them Bible says none of the cattle that represents their business. None of the cattle of the children of Israel die. None of your business's career will be touched by any evil in the name of Jesus Christ. They enjoy the light. Hallelujah. If you read Exodus chapter 10. Exodus chapter 10 verse 21 to 23. I'm trying to rush up because of our time. Because I want us to go and pray. Exodus chapter 10 
verse number 21 to 23. Let's quickly read that. Let's read Exodus 10, 21 to 23. Look at what the word says. How glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Exodus chapter 10, verse 21 to 23. Look at what the Bible says. He says, And the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out now thy hand towards the heaven, and darkness which may be felt. Hallelujah. And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was thick darkness upon the land of Egypt. Ay, 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 ay. Look at verse 23. They saw not one another, neither rose from any place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwelling. All the children of Israel, they had light in their dwelling. What does that mean? We have been preserved from any kind of confusion. We have been preserved from every kind of darkness, every kind of stagnation. If you read that verse 23 again, it says nobody moved for three days. In other words, they were stagnated. I declare by the word of the Lord, even upon this mountain, any form of stagnation, marital stagnation, financial stagnation, whatever form of stagnation upon this mountain tonight is hereby destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. So those are the things you should expect tonight. Those are the things you should expect tonight. And as we're about to go and pray, I want you to be ready. I want you to charge up. I want you to pray from this understanding that there are things that you must not suffer as the word suffer them. So that should rise a holy anger in you tonight as we're about to go and pray. Hallelujah. But before we go and pray tonight, there's not too much we are going to be sharing. Like we said, we are going to be praying more. And on Sunday, we're going to be capping it up with the word. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Before we go and pray, it's important for you to know that if you are not saved, it is a risk. If you are not saved, you are not saved. As I said earlier, that those that would enjoy this covering are those that are in Goshen. He says, as many that received him, he gave power. Hallelujah. As many that received him, he gave power. So wherever you are tonight, if you have not yet given your life to Christ, this is a night, this is a time even to do that. Because when you come into his camp, what touches the world is not permitted to touch you. Wherever you are tonight and you have not made the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, it is high time you turn to him right now because it is not safe out there if you don't know Christ. Hallelujah. If you are there and you want to give your life to Christ, I would love to pray with you right now. Just put your right hand on your chest and repeat this prayer with faith after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. Lord, I declare I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Have mercy on me. Wash me with your precious blood. Tonight I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Save me from eternal damnation. Bring me into the covenant of your sons and daughters. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. If you have prayed that prayer, wherever you're watching us from, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace of God that saved every one of us, even tonight, let the same grace locate you. In the name of Jesus, welcome into the beloved. In the mighty name of Jesus, we would love to hear from you. If you had prayed that simple prayer of salvation, because 
because Bible says there is joy in heaven for one sinner that repents. And as you have prayed that prayer, we would love to share in your joy and help your faith to grow. Hallelujah. We would love to share in your joy and help your faith to grow. So please reach out to us right there. You will see our phone number and our email. Reach out to us and by the grace of God, we help your faith to grow. Hallelujah. And if you are not even in this city, please look out for Bible-believing church where your faith can grow exceedingly in Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray right now. Hallelujah. And our prayer tonight will be centered on the blood. Hallelujah. Our prayer tonight will be centered, will be instrumental by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is so important because we saw that the first plague that came upon the land of Egypt was the first plague of the blood. According to Exodus chapter 7 verse 17. You can read to verse 20 if um, the time permits. Exodus 7 verse 17 to 20. We saw the first thing that came upon the land was the blood. Bible says, and Moses stretched forth his hand and the water was turned to blood and everything started dying. You know when a man is sick, they send him to go and do a blood walk to discover what is wrong with him. And the last God that God introduced in Egypt was also the blood. Hallelujah. So tonight we are going about not just praying also it's our communion night. We would also be applying the power in the blood. So I want you to be ready. The blood of Jesus can be used in three biblical established way. We can plead the blood of Jesus. We can drink the blood of Jesus and also there is the blood of sprinkling according to the book of Hebrews and the book of Peter. But tonight we are going to be using two of those medium. We are going to be declaring the blood in our prayer and also we are going to partake of the blood and the flesh of Jesus and it will be a seal of preservation and protection all through this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's quickly look at our scripture verses that we'll be using for prayer tonight for us to have understanding. Let's look at the scripture verses that we'll be using for prayer tonight. Isaiah chapter 49 Isaiah 49, verse 16, 25, and 26. Isaiah 49, 16, 25, and 26. That's the first one. The second one is the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. I'm trying to read them out for those that are writing so you can write them down. Isaiah 49, 16, 25 to 26. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 and the book of Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 to 12 and 15. Zechariah chapter 9, 11 to 12 and verse 15. Let me just read one of them before we go into this pool of prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Isaiah 49 verse 16. Look at what the word says. It says here, Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. In other words, because you are precious to me, because you are my own. Look at what verse 25 and 26 now says he will do. But thy Thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the might shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For what I will contend with them that contend with thee, and I will save their children. How? I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Hallelujah. And what? And they shall be drunken in their own blood. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do. He says what? He will 
will feed the enemy with their own flesh and they will be drunken in their own blood. I want you to go ahead wherever you are. Let's lift up our voice as we are going to pray now. Lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your preservation and protection for my life, for my household all through the year 2021. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Karedabosi Kantayagia, thank you for your preservation agenda. Thank you for your protection all through the year 2021. Male Prakota Sakataya, Le Rushem Brado Sembra Rekete. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Blessed be your name. Grato Sekete, Rabba Rabba Reketezia. Thank you for your preservation agenda. Thank you for your power. Blessed be your name. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. I give you praise. Come on, give him praise. Thank him. Because he had planned, he had preserved, and he had protected you. Even he that too. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Father, I thank you. Marato kota se kalembra di kata. Resho la peru maradia. Father, thank you. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your preservation and protection agenda for my life, for my family, all through the year 2021. Blessed be your holy name. Glory be your holy name. Malate koteke de riakata. Me sunte brekete zia. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. We are going to lift up our voice. Don't forget we are using the blood tonight. We are using the blood tonight. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Say, Father, let the blood of Jesus begin to flow from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet and every member of my family all through this year for preservation and divine protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Reta kasha kata yaga lebradia. Reto baba la barakata zosiamata. Yigala brade kosa mandele. Rato asatua kwa predushketa. My Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the blood of Jesus begin to flow from the crown of my head to the toe of my feet all through this year, 2021, for preservation, for protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, Marate Kosa Kataya, Lebra Dosia Kata, is that your desire? Go ahead and pray. My Father, let the blood of Jesus flow from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet all through this year. In the name of Jesus, for preservation and for divine protection. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray, come on, pray. Whatsoever you pray, he will do. Whatsoever you ask, he will do. Lift up your voice. If you are not preserved, you know the enemy is out there. You know the devil is out there, roaring about like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. Lift up your voice. My Father, I come under your divine covering. I come under your divine protection. Let the blood of Jesus flow from my head to the to my feet and every member of my household for preservation for protection in the rato Galabradia. come on pray that prayer concerning everything that concerns you pray that prayer concerning everything that is yours my father from my head to my toe and every member of my family we are preserved we are protected we are preserved. We are protected in the name of Jesus. Malipapo bradeketia. Are you praying? In peregedish kalabara. Redubaro baradi ankotazia. Limbra ramanakata. Lord, 
Lord of heaven, we declare by your mighty blood, every member of this household strong tower is preserved, is protected from every evil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We are still praying. We are still praying. We're going to lift up our voice. You remember in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. We read verse 12 earlier on during the word. It says, and they overcame him, the devil, by what? The blood of the Lamb. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And that's why we are going to use the blood all through tonight. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer. Father, by the blood of Jesus, every seed of infirmity and sickness in my life die now in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that prayer. I say it's a seed because some of them, they are not even out yet. Some, they don't even know they are there. That is waiting to germinate. That is waiting to destroy any life. Go ahead and uproot them now. By the blood of Jesus. My father, by the blood of Jesus, every seed of infirmity, every seed of sickness in my body, in my life, die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Relo para de que te zia, macata tata que que te le rua shaka lebra dia. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. The Bible says, Whatsoever tree that my father in heaven has not planted, it shall be uprooted, it shall be cast into the fire by the blood of Jesus. I declare tonight every seed of infirmity, every seed of disease, every seed of sickness that is in my body i command you to die this body belongs to the lord this is the temple of the most high god are you praying wherever you are my father in the name of jesus and by the blood of the lamb every seed of infirmity every seed of sickness every seed of cancer every seed of mania every evil seed of sickness and infirmity in the body of your children wherever they are that they don't even know is there by the blood of jesus we command it dry up now we command it die now in the name of jesus Libro kosh kete zegederi amata limana nana kata yego labredus kete brari mati kato shakata baya we command it dry up come and pray come and pray wherever you are come and pray use the blood the blood is powerful the blood is powerful the blood is potent pray that sickness of your life pray that disease of your destiny pray it of your children pray it of your family in the the name of Jesus my father by the blood of Jesus every seed of infirmity and sickness in my life die now in the name of Jesus every seed of sickness and infirmity in my family we command you to die by the blood of Jesus thank you thank you Holy Spirit in the rade kosha la barandi akata, I command it dry up now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I declare 
For anyone under the sound of my voice, they have been said concerning your family that there is an hereditary disease, that somebody has it, that there's another generation that has it, that you are afraid that it will come even into your life. I pray by the blood of Jesus tonight, and I prophesy every hereditary disease that had plagued your generation before, right now by the blood of Jesus, I command it dry up now in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what that in is, but you are there under the sound of my voice. I want you to receive this every hereditary disease that is in your blood from your lineage by the blood of Jesus. Right now, I command it dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, blessed be your name. That is settled. That is settled. That is settled for life. That is settled forever. Come on, give him praise. That is settled. That is settled. That is settled. Thank you, Jesus. That is settled. If you are that person, when we are partaking of the communion, that will be your declaration. That will be your own declaration that as I partake of this blood of Jesus, every hereditary disease, bye-bye to you. That would be your own prayer point when we are partaking of the blood. If you are that person, hallelujah. Give God praise. Glory to the Lamb of God. We are still praying tonight. That's why we are here. Wherever you are, lift up your voice to heaven. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, every arrows of sickness and disease fired into my life through my dream. Come out now and back to sender in the name of Jesus. Let me explain that to you. Some people, they sleep and they had a dream. Some of them, they had a dream that they ate in the dream. All of a sudden, after six months, after one year, after two weeks, they start feeling discomfort. They start feeling pain that they don't know how it came. That is part of the implant of the enemy. Some people in the dream, they will have sexual intercourse and from there there was a deposit and six months after down the line they just cannot explain why they got that sickness I want you to pray that devil out tonight lift up your voice father by the blood of Jesus every arrow of sickness and disease fire into my life through the dream come out now in the name of Jesus and back to sender Supeleketia, Marusha Kadabaradaya, Lekeke, Ragod Ageda Sutale Maradia, my father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic arrow of sickness and disease, fire into my life, fire into my destiny, Retu Baradia, in my sleep, in my dream, Lord, I command them out now by the blood of Jesus and back to sender. In the name of Jesus, oh my Father, by the blood of Jesus, every arrow of sickness, every arrow of disease that came into my life through my dream, Lord, tonight, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I command it out now, back to sender. Are you praying? Wherever you are, come and pray. Yes, yes, yes. By the blood of Jesus, every arrow of sickness, every arrow of disease, fire deposit into anybody under my under the sound of my voice. I declare out, 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 out by the fire of heaven back to sender. Meaning kalopre atika resopen bareketia. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Imano menike no panepe negedish. 
alebra kwa tekete ralo menagish kalabrandi akata tonight by the blood of the lamb we declare out now we declare out now in the name of jesus matu sekete come on pray that prayer some more pray that prayer some more every arrow fired into my dream every arrow of sickness from the enemy i say enough but to sender thank you father blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we are praying i declare by the hand of the lord anyone under the sound of my voice that they come to feed you any kind of concussion in your dream that has bring about affliction tonight by the blood of jesus i command that affliction to dry up now in the name of jesus i declare every evil deposit bible says every tree that my father in heaven has not planted shall be uprooted i command it now in caro radia i command it out now in the name of jesus and back to sender in jesus mighty name we are prayed in jesus mighty name we are prayed we are still praying we are still praying pray this next prayer come on lift up your voice say father every satanic deposit in my life and in my children blood of jesus wash it away now come on pray 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 every satanic deposit in my life in the life of my children any kind of satanic deposit in my life come on pray that prayer for yourself pray it for your children if your children are old enough to pray let them pray let them pray let them pray wherever you are lift up your voice every satanic deposit in my life in the life of my children tonight my father let your blood let it wash it away let your blood let it wash it away let your blood let it wash it away in matu paradeka to zanaya iselele pelepe kreatuskea every satanic deposit from any form from any place from anywhere from any place maybe from food in any form oh lord i declare tonight blood of jesus wash it away wash it away wash it away are you praying are you praying come on lift up your voice declare so that you will be justified every satanic deposit in my life and the life of my children oh by the blood of jesus tonight i command it be removed be washed away mareto sakata radiakata membre rushke labrandiakata thank you father blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we are prayed in jesus mighty name we are prayed we are still going to pray we have about three or four more prayer points before we go into the communion there is somebody watching right now the holy spirit wants me to pray for every spirit that always duplicates your person. Hmm. The spirit that duplicates your person. In other words, for example, you are supposed to get a blessing. That spirit goes ahead and duplicates your person and says, oh, I don't need that blessing. Don't worry about it. Something like that. I declare tonight by the blood of Jesus every power that duplicates your spirit for evil by the blood of the lamb tonight i command them destroyed in the name of jesus every power that duplicates what belongs to you that represents you in a negative way in a negative form by the blood of jesus i render them impotent now in the mighty name of jesus christ that is settled that is settled what belongs to you will not be taken away any longer what belongs to you you will not be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, 
I render impotent every effort of spiritual waster over my life, over my family this year in the name of Jesus. Father, by the blood of Jesus, I render impotent every effort of spiritual wasters. Every effort of spiritual wasters. I render their effort impotent in my life, in my family. By the blood of the Lamb. Come on, pray. Marota ke karushka labara. Meki gadose pembra duske latia. My Father, in the mighty name of Jesus and by the blood of the Lamb, I render impotent every effort of spiritual waster, every effort of spiritual wasters. Tonight, I render their effort impotent in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Our destiny shall not be wasted. Our effort shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Mareto Kata, Riabra Ascopre in the Libra this year. Lord, tonight, by the blood of Jesus, I render every effort of spiritual wasters i render their effort impotent in the name of jesus their hand will not be able to perform because the blood of jesus is upon me because i'm swimming in the blood of the lamb every agenda every effort of spiritual wasters tonight i cancel i destroy it will not happen in the name of jesus thank you father Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to Jesus. Let's pray two more prayer points before we go and partake of the blood. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice wherever you are and make this declaration. Say with me, I decree. Say it louder. I decree. You eaters of flesh assigned against me in the form of virus, in the form of bacteria, in the form of infirmity and parasites. My body is not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, go ahead, make that decree. I decree you eaters of flesh assigned against me in form of virus, coronavirus, in form of any bacteria of infirmity, in form of any parasite by the blood of Jesus, I declare my body is not your habitation. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Marate sopala lebrada brerororo bakikato mishakwakwate mananika losia. I declare and it shall be established. I decree so shall it be. You eaters of flesh in form of bacteria, in form of disease, in form of coronavirus and whatever virus in form of any pestilence I declare by the blood of Jesus my body the body of my family is not your habitation our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost washed with the blood sanctified with the blood so therefore you eat us of flesh you have no place in us you eat us of flesh you have no place in us we declare by the blood of the lamb you eat us of flesh assigned against us in form of disease in form of bacteria in form of calamity in form of any virus tonight we render your power impotent we say die 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 in the name of jesus because our body is not your habitation you have no place in us many katabaradia kotesia rawa wa kwa kwa teli mata na kotesia thank you father blessed be your name it is done in jesus mighty name we are praying hallelujah yes glory to jesus let's pray let's pray one more prayer let's pray one more prayer our time is fast spent. Let's pray one more prayer. Say with me, my destiny. Say, say it louder. My destiny. 
and all that pertains to me, you are preserved. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. No glory killer, no testimony hunters, no joy stealers will come near you in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead, make that declaration. My destiny and all that pertains to me, you are preserved, you are protected by the blood of Jesus. No glory killer, no testimony killer, no testimony hunters, no joy stealers will come near you in the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead. Make that declaration. Bible says you will declare it in and it shall be established. Lift up your voice. Come on, pray. My Father, I declare concerning my destiny, concerning every life connected on this prayer line tonight, even today, and all that pertains to us, we are preserved. We are protected from the power of the enemy. No forces of air will come close. No forces of air will be able to touch us. Touch not of that power that is on us now in the name of Jesus. Touch not anointing. Touch not protection is upon our destiny. By the blood of Jesus, you have no place in us. Every glory killer, you have no place in us. Every joy stealer, you have no place in us. Every testimonies hunter, you have no place in us. We are sealed by the blood. Come on, pray. Manika Rubaradia Kata. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Jesus Elika Rushka Tabaria. Mesu Belembre Brakoto Zagatia Keta. Ne Pupre to Shale Baradia. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your name. Go ahead and bless his name. Go ahead, give him praise because he has answered our prayer tonight. If you know he has heard you, Bible says, make your supplication with thanksgiving unto the Lord. Give him praise because he has answered. Give him praise because he has done it. Blessed be your name. There is no one like you. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for your blood. Because we know we are more than conqueror by the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Give him praise. Give him praise. Worship his name. Thank you, Abba Father. Ombra Robra ke katosi anti yakadasha. Leluza gade brando sekete. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Oh, glory to your name. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Abba Father. Glory to the Lamb of God. It is time to partake of the communion. Hallelujah. I want you right now to go ahead and uh, as we partake of this communion, I want you to partake with faith. Hallelujah. I want you to partake with faith. I want you to be ready because there will be blood transfusion. Everything that is not right by this blood tonight, they will be flushed out in the name of Jesus Christ. What am I to expect in this communion? Because when you don't know what to expect, when it comes, you won't even know yet arrived. What is my expectation in this communion tonight two things very quickly number one this communion will bring a total cleansing a total cleansing and number two it will bring a total preservation and protection hallelujah the blood tonight will bring what a total cleansing and also a total preservation and protection. I am going to read very quickly. We saw in that book of Exodus. Let's take Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. I will read from verse 12 to 14. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 12 
verse 12 to 14. Everyone should be part of this communion tonight because it will be a communion of cleansing. It will cleanse you in and out from every works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 12, I will read from verse 12 all the way to verse 14. Hallelujah. Look at what the word says. And for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I would execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood, verse 13, shall be to you for a token upon your house where you are. For when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not come upon you as I pass through the land tonight to smite the Egyptian. Hallelujah. He says, the blood upon you, when I see it, I will pass through that I will not destroy you. Hallelujah. And you know you and I are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We are the house of the Holy Ghost. So when the blood come into us, wherever we appear, we become indestructible in the name of Jesus. Let's look at verse 14 very quickly. Exodus 12 and verse 14. And it says, This day shall be unto you for a memorial. And you shall keep it as a feast unto the Lord throughout your generation. Hallelujah. And you shall keep it as a feast, as an ordinance forever. In other words, it must be a forever thing. If they did it that time and he preserved and protected them, he says, if you continue to do it, you would enjoy my preservation and protection. So tonight, as we partake of the blood, I want you to be expectant. As the blood of Jesus gets into your system, remember, it cleanses every garbage out and it preserves your body. Body, your kidney shall be preserved, your organs shall be preserved, your liver shall be preserved, your heart shall be preserved, everything in your destiny tonight, they shall be preserved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we saw the children of Israel, by the reason of that communion, Bible says for 40 years, none of them were feeble. For 14 years, none of them was wasking weak. I declare by the reason of the blood of Jesus tonight and his flesh, weakness, feebleness, tiredness, sickness will be the things of the past in your life. In the name of Jesus, oh, you will look at yourself. The next 40 years, you will say, I am as strong as stone by the reason of this meal. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready to be part of this communion tonight? Right now, I want you to start getting your communion element. Get it ready as we're about to partake of this meal tonight. Hallelujah. Let me just give you a few seconds Why you drop in the chat room. Just drop, I am ready. Let's see if we can get one or two before we partake so we will know that we are all set. Hallelujah. Yes, the blood, the blood, the blood. Hallelujah. Rete ya galera galegeli ya gadosh ke librante ya ketosia. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this mystery. Thank you for your blood and your flesh. We give you praise. Thank you. Yes, you are ready. Hallelujah. Okay. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse twenty-three to twenty-five. First Corinthians eleven, twenty-three to twenty-five. He says, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now, 
Every element that your children has prepared as a representative of the blood and the flesh, I declare it sanctified now in the name of Jesus. Everything prepared for the communion tonight, I pray they are year by turn to the blood and the flesh of Jesus. As we partake of it with faith, I declare, let the unusual by your power begin to happen. Let it cleanse every of our system. Let it preserve every of our system. In the name of Jesus, by this communion tonight, Lord, every sickness, every ailment, whatever name they had called in the life of anyone, under the sound of my voice, is hereby flushed out. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by this meal tonight, we are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let, let's go now as we partake even of the meal. Lift it up. We partake of the body of Christ in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and eat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Verse 25. And after the same manner also, he took the cup when he had stopped saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me we partake of this in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit as you drink this blood it preserves your destiny as you drink this blood it cleans you from all unrighteousness if you are that person that the word of the Lord came forth to earlier, you begin to pray. Every hereditary disease, they are hereby flushed out from my life, from my lineage. Go ahead now and partake of the blood. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. By the blood, we are more than conqueror. By the blood, we are more than victorious. Yes, they overcame by the blood. We are overcomers in the Radabo Secretaria Gadabaya. We are preserved by the blood. We are preserved by the blood. Matu Barade Keliambro de Akasataya. Thank you for your blood. Mare tu brande ketiza radia kata. Come on, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Everything you are believing the blood to do, come on, declare it now. By the blood of Jesus, I am as strong as stone. No sickness, no disease is permitted in my body, in my family. Rado bareando koso tale barushke la baradia. Yes, go ahead and declare. Go ahead and pray. Pray, pray, pray. You have the blood now. Take advantage of it. By the blood. Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. Henceforth, my blood becomes the blood of Jesus. Henceforth, my flesh becomes the flesh of Jesus. He was not sick when he was here. He was not tired when he was here. He was not reported that Jesus was sick. And Henceforward, by this blood, I am a stronger stone. I am a stronger stone. They go from strength to strength. Everyone appeareth in Zion. As I go, it will be from strength to strength. Come on, pray your prayer right now. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus, 
according to your word, you say none of the diseases of the Egyptians shall come upon us. As we have partake of your flesh and your blood tonight, Lord, we declare no disease is permitted in our household. No power of any kind of any sickness it will be able to touch us. In the name of Jesus, Lord of heaven, we declare every evil we see us and pass over. He will not come near us. He will not come near our dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Glory to your holy name. Adoration to your holy name. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Right now, in this service, before we round up... We are going to bless the name of the Lord with our offering. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Are you being blessed tonight? We are going to bless the Lord right now with our seed, with our offering. In the name of Jesus. Let's quickly package our offering and our seed as we bless the Lord right now tonight. Hallelujah. I will read the book of Revelation chapter 8 and verse 4 as we prepare our offering. Right there on the screen, you can see the three ways at which you can be part of this giving tonight. Revelation chapter 8 verse 4, look at what it says. It says, the smoke of the incense together with the prayer of God's people went up before the Lord. The smoke of the incense, the smoke of the incense there represents your offering. He says it goes together with your prayer. So as we have prayed tonight, let the incense of our offering rise up to God as a sweet smelling savor. And you know, every time it smells the aroma of our offering, according to the book of Genesis chapter 8, he always sworn a blessing. As you give unto the Lord tonight, I see the Lord swearing a blessing on you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's quickly um, take our offering even tonight. Thank you everyone that is part of this um, meeting tonight and I know it will be greater and greater as we go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray on our offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because you are the one that gives bread to the eater and seed to the sower. Thank you, Lord, for we did not appear before you empty. Lord, let the incense of our offering, let the aroma of our offering rise to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we have sown tonight, your word says, seed time and harvest shall never cease. Lord, let our harvest be bountiful in the mighty name of Jesus. Every man, every woman you have ordained to bless us, to give back to us. Wherever they are, they will find us. In the name of Jesus Christ, accept us, Lord. Accept our offering, our vows tonight. Let it be used for your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. We give God praise for this amazing night and it would always be better as the Lord delivered. As you have witnessed this second week, I see you before the end of this meeting having bountiful of testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to be back on Sunday. By the grace of God, we're going to be back on Sunday and the time is 10 a.m. We're going to be back in the face, in the capping face of this second week and we're going to be looking at the word of God to cap it off. Hallelujah. I see you moving from glory to glory. I see you moving from strength to strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget the Lord is already doing great and mighty things. Don't keep it to yourself. Share your testimony with us. Share your testimonies with us. You can send your testimonies to testimonies strong tower at gmail. 
www.thebookshop.com. You can see the email address on the screen where you can just send your testimony in. As you do that, God will bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have you been blessed tonight? Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Let's exalt him. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful for all you have done again tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Take all the praise, Lord. Thank you for preservation by your blood. Thank you for protection by your blood. Thank you, but because you never sleep nor slumber, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Adoration be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of God be with you all in Jesus' name. Have a good night, and God bless you. Thank you, Jesus.